welcome back guys this is a uh, how-to video from uh, the rookie gamer here with a little video of um, we're gonna do some bail loading today um, I do follow a couple people on some um, farming simulator forum but um, a lot of people I've noticed say that they have a hard time loading and hauling bales. Um, so this is just going to be a little tutorial video. As you can tell, I'm already starting on it because no point in wasting time at this, at this point. So I mean, um, basically, um, I'm using three mods today, actually four. Uh, one is the 2008 Chevy Silverado. Um, I do believe it was an FS15, and it was just converted over to 17. Uh, but the one thing I don't like about it is that it seems like there's too much weight in the back, and it does wheelies when you take off with a trailer, but it eventually balances out. Um, I just don't like it that way, but there will be some nice mods coming out for pickups, and uh, until then... That's the one I'm going to use, and this uh, PJ trailer is what I use to haul pretty much all my hay bales and um, seat ballots and stuff like that for my other games. So uh, that's what I'm decided to go with that, and I also have a bale fork I'm going to try out here in a couple seconds, or in a couple minutes here. So there's no saying how long this video is going to be, it's just going to be a quick video of how I load my bales and a quick example of it really, uh, nothing too crazy. So first things first, you're going to want to look at your trailer and see where your ratchet points are. Um, as you can see, this one right here, there's one right there and one right here. Your bale is going to sit right here, and that's going to be one of your ratchet points. This ratchet point shouldn't even have, well, yeah it is actually. Your ratchet point, this one right here actually, those two are going to be on there. Um, don't think this one's gonna be on your bail at all. It's hard to say. Um I recommend doing this no matter what you're gonna be hauling. Um Okay, so if you guys can see this correctly, you see three winch points or ratchet points, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, right there. This one will go over the bale there, this one will go over the bale right there, and this one's going to go over the bale on the right side. Now if you look, there's going to be another ratchet point there, there, and another one way over here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to probably... I don't understand why this one doesn't have... Well, I suppose it's because of wheels. So you've got the two in the back. Let's actually go this way. Yeah, let's just do it that way. Because we just did them all anyway to make sure it's actually all of them. So one bale is going to have those three. Uh, your next bale is going to have to be missing a strap right there, but you should be able to hit it with these two for sure. Then your next bale should sit with this strap and that one as well. And your last ones you're going to have to load straight on from the back going this way rather than this way if that makes sense it, it's it's really hard to explain it but what you're gonna want to do is just start taking all your ratchet points off you don't need any of them off to start because otherwise it's just gonna mess up things and you don't want that happening um, I'm not saying I'm a professional at this I'm just kinda helping you guys out um, with loading trailers with bales. Um, so how I do this is I will load one bale on to the sim the trailer, whatever it is, um, and uh, then you want to go grab your second one. Make sure you're always straight on with the bale because the minute you're off with a bale, it'll throw your whole stack job or loading job off. Like as you can tell, I'm a little bit off on this one. Uh, it should be able to correct itself a little bit in transport there. Um, if not, it's 
not too big of a deal for me. Um, this is when you want to zoom in a little bit, and uh, you're going to want to inch towards your trailer here. Get her pretty much set up the way your other bale is. And um, you just want to get your bales together, um, center it on the trailer the best you can, and then you want to unload. Um, it's real simple. It's not very hard to do at all. Um, the loading, the tractor loading, has been completely different ever since FS17. So um, that's one thing you guys have got to look at. Is uh, that's what you've always been scared of in other ones. It's it's changed. They've made it a lot easier. And um, I just want to show you guys this. And I have not tried this bail fork, so I'm gonna give this a try here. Like I said, guys, I'm not sure how long this video is actually going to be, but I uh, just wanted to give you guys a tutorial here, and uh, it's going a lot better than what I thought it was. So I'm actually going to try two bales here. Now, if you do this correctly, it should... No. You want it to fit both bales. Like that. And you could actually go for a third one on top of this, but I, I don't recommend that. You always want to keep something that's um, connected to the bales in some sort of way. Um, so now we're going to jump out, and this is when your ratchet points come in hand. Uh, you're just going to want to check. That one crosses it, and that one crosses it. So now can take those off. That's the one thing you want to do is make sure they both will cross the bale. If they don't, then you're going to want to start. And don't be afraid to put them farther back than what your actual location is going to be. Um, honestly, it really helps when they're farther back from the location because then you can align them up better with the help of your other two that you'll be putting on. So, line up bales here. Maybe. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Um, I find that this tractor is honestly one of the easiest front loaders to use. Uh, I need a weight on this one. You can see it's heavy. Um, the skid steers, I, it's hard to keep them straight, and they turn so quick that you lose control and lose your spot, so, um, telehandlers, I've not done much with telehandlers, um, so I'm not sure how they go. And you want to unload it, and just like that. Now... You'll notice that this bale right here is obviously too heavy to lift, but um, if I jump up here under the truck here, you'll notice it's off. Um, that's going to happen quite a bit. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can really do about that. Uh, you could try and correct it with the smaller pallet forks and um, just kind of lift it up a bit. Uh, you don't want to try too hard because then you're going to end up messing up your other side. But um, it's definitely important to know where your ratchet points are. So that's one of the biggest tips is know where your ratchet points are. And then secondly, it's like I was hitting something there. Secondly, you're going to want to just take your time, go slow, and, um, you know, take your time. It's, that's one of the things you're going to want to do is just take your time. Uh, it comes naturally. It really does. And if you guys see here, you still got room for probably another set of bales. And um, now, with this trailer and pickup, I would not do two more just because of the way it looks. You wouldn't want to do three high. Uh, that would just be too big of a load for this kind of pickup and trailer. But um, if you guys were to maybe... 
that's not there that's not there where is it right there if you were to use a flatbed trailer like this on a semi that's when I would start doing like three high and then um, just do the two wide like this uh, two wide do three high and then I would set a bale in the middle of the two so you'd have a bale one side there one side there that's how you would make a full size load in and this one you probably could do a third one in the middle up top but I just think it would be too much of a load for this pickup but um I am going to demonstrate what this pickup does um, once you do get it loaded down so we're just gonna do this as you can see we do have one more ratchet point on that second set of bales but it's kind of a pointless spot that I don't like how that's situated but um, I guess what do you do I, I, I mean this trailer does have quite a few tie down spots but if you see this trailer it basically just does wheelies and to me it's like if if they could make a way where there's a weight in the front of it, it it'd be perfect because uh, let's see here let's go for a drive see once you get going just a little bit it's it's more than okay once you take off, it's just, I don't know, I don't know what it is, um, hopefully they can fix that and come up with an update, updated version on that, but, um, until then, this is what I got to work with, and it looks better than having a semi hooked up to this PJ trailer, because that's just, you wouldn't really do that in real life unless you're down to bare bones, so, I mean, but, what do you do, um, Thank you for watching guys, this is going to conclude the uh, loading bales tutorial. Next I'll do, I'll probably end up doing a loading um, seed trailer uh, tutorial kind of thing. Um, let me know if you guys like it, it's just a quick video, uh, probably 10 minutes long or something like that, I don't know yet. Um, and just quick and easy, uh, the mods I was using are going to be the, the pickup. Uh, 2008 uh, the trailer, also the buy buy bail mod, and um, then the last one is going to be this uh, bail spike on the mod hub. It's in the beta section, I do believe. But uh, that'll be it for this, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Have a good day.